Sleep, cha-ching. Wake up, cha-ching. I breathe, cha-ching. I hate being an adult. <laughs> Can tell by the title of this video, I am, I am taking you through a what I spent in a week living in San Diego, California, also known as one of the most expensive cities to live in in the United States. I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere on the top 10 list in some article, and if it's not, I'm going to tell you right now, it feels very expensive to live here, okay? For a bit of context. I'm a self-sustaining 26-year-old. I currently make around $120,000 a year as a solutions analyst. I do live in downtown San Diego with a roommate and my boyfriend, Julian, and have a dog, Harlow. So no kids, but we definitely consider Harlow our child. So hopefully that paints a picture of my life right now. But I love these what I spend in a week videos, so I'm gonna do one for you guys, and hopefully it's insightful. And then keep in mind that by the end of this video, I'll take you guys through how much my rent costs, all that fun stuff. Let's get into it. Anything like me bouncing work, life, chaos, and everything in between, you know how hard it is to keep your energy up all day. That's why I decided to take the Magic Mind a five day challenge. And every single day for five days straight, I took one of these little shots and I started to notice a difference in my energy and being able to accomplish all the things on my calendar and to do list. First shot of the day Magic Mind, day one. This tastes actually so delicious, and I'm just taking it while I'm working. What I love about Magic Mind is that it's just not a quick caffeine boost. It's also packed with nootropics, adaptogens that help support my focus, creativity, and just overall well-being. My little mood stabilizer. Plus, it's made with such natural ingredients, so I feel good about taking it every single day. This morning's lineup, protein shake with creatine, almond milk, Magic Mind, and then my breakfast. Day four, never felt better. Cheers. It gets better and better. Last shot of the five day challenge. This little bottle helped me survive. Made me feel like I was doing something good for my body first thing in the morning. We love that energy. I would highly recommend trying out the Magic Mind five day challenge. Trust me, you'll be surprised of how much a difference it can make. And they're giving a special discount for my viewers. 48%, almost half off using my code crystalg 20 So check the link in my description below. And I'd love to hear about your experience. And let's get back into it. Starting my day off right with some movement, I do go to a pretty expensive gym, not as expensive as an Equinox, but I feel like when I tell people how much I spend on my membership, they're taking it back, even with an employer discount. It's 118th a month, so $29.50 a week. I think it's so worth it because of all of the features they have, including a full gym, reformers, Pilates, hot yoga, sauna, and a cold plunge. Showered after the gym, packing up all of our stuff to head to Isola. We're gonna work there for a little bit because on Fridays I like to work from a cafe just to get out of the house. I haven't had it in two weeks. I'm literally so excited. We pre-ordered everything yesterday because the line does get hella long. So if you're ever planning to go to Isola, I would recommend just pre-ordering it. The almond croissant and tahini vanilla nut for you here. After getting some work done, I walked over to our eyebrow appointment, which cost $19 plus $4 for tips, so a total of $23. And I usually only get my eyebrows done once a month, which you can tell because my eyebrows were looking real bushy before Helen got me right. And after we clocked out work, we headed over to In-N-Out for our weekly fix. If you know, you know. I actually switched up my order this time. I got a 2 by 2 animal style whole onions, fries, and a shake, which came out to about $10. So as you can see i love in and out for real like no one who made me hate her she's my best you just, just look at that burger it's perfection and our very last stop on friday was to the pet store to grab some of harlow's favorite probiotics which we swear by and a new meal topper because we love him this came out to 60 dollars, but me and julian split that in half so 30 each Hello, happy saturday had a cool relaxing morning this morning had to edit finish editing a video that i'm posting tomorrow so i decided to edit at the and while I was trying to get the shot, I hit my face with my headphones, so that was fun. Anyways, we're on the way to our friend Kathy's birthday, and then later tonight we're going to another family party in Ramona. I'm gonna get them some flowers and drinks just to bring, because it's kind of weird to come up. So, we'll see you there. 
Before heading out to the party, we stopped by Trader Joe's to pick up some goodies. We really wanted to grab her some flowers and a drink, which came out to $19.45, but me and Jillian split that, so it's around $9.70. Then the second party was about an hour away, and I knew I was going to need coffee for that drive. Luckily, Jillian had to charge his car, which was conveniently located in between a Whole Foods where I got another bouquet for my auntie for $11.96, and then also between a Better Buzz where I got coffee for $7. Just made breakfast. This is actually from last week's groceries. And we're gonna go grocery shopping today. So I wanna say this meal round up five dollars. Not bad at all. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but it'll do to get us to the errands today. We definitely want to play pickleball, stop by Trader Joe's and see how it's the park and have a little Sunday reset. Unfortunately, we only got to pickleball for 30 minutes that day because the venue was fully booked. However, on the bright side, we managed to squeeze in a few good rounds and only paid $5. Going to Trader Joe's and getting my Jet Chipotle. Chipotle is my boy. If you follow my channel, you know I love Instacart. It's like DoorDash, but for groceries. But I wanted to mix things up and see how much we'd spend going to the grocery stores ourselves. It's not a perfect comparison since we're looking at Trader Joe's versus Sprouts, but you get the idea. Last month, we averaged 120 a week, and let's see how it compares. Final total at Trader Joe's. Julian thought I was going to be 193. I thought it was going to be 170 because we were hella like, we have so much stuff in here that was not a part of our grocery list, so I was like, oh, it's going to be expensive, but 115 which is cheaper than what we, on average, spend a week using Instacart, or around the same price, but I will caveat, we do have chicken still at home and ground turkey at home, so the bill probably would have came out to like 130 Got a lot of stuff. I, I think I should go in into the grocery store more often than I do currently because I do just like the convenience of Instacart. We sampled these. These were good. I've been craving the mochi balls, so I finally got my mochi balls. And then I'm obsessed with these steamed dumplings, so every time I'm at Trader Joe's, I feel like I have to get it. I have to order more shampoo and conditioner and my friend was telling me about pros and I feel like I've seen advertisements all over my Instagram and so she said it was really good. I'm getting it soon so I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. Came out to $62.50. I got 50% off. We signed up for a subscription plus 30% off discount being a first time customer. See you guys tomorrow. I feel like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday might be a little bit more quote unquote boring because usually when I'm like going to work, going to the gym, stuff like that. But since we do have a wedding on Saturday, I do need to just prep for that. I need to get my toenails done. So I'm going to set up an appointment for me and Julian tomorrow. Toenails done. Um, we were supposed to go to the gym. But it was so weird, like Julian's like maps accidentally mapped us to Popeye Co and like Stella Jean's ice cream. So like we're here now and we're just kind of like, you know, might as well just get some food, you know? Oops. Oopsies. Oops. Green hog and mash, classic chicken with cream corn. I didn't record yesterday because I didn't spend anything, but today I do have to stop by Target on my way home. I'm debating if I want a bagel because I do have oatmeal and I don't know, a bagel with cream cheese just sounds so fire right now and it's only like $2. So. I got them this cute little wedding card and 
then eyelash extensions. I have not been getting my eyelashes done because this year I was trying to save money and getting my lash extensions done every single month was adding up so much. So I hopped on that DIY lash extension era and I love it. I love it so much. I did these this morning. I normally get the Veus Beauty ones on TikTok shop, but in case that I needed to do my lashes before the wedding this Saturday, I wanted to get to get these so these two things came out to $30 and then because Julian is such a good boyfriend to me I decided to clean his car since he always lets me drive it something nice I can do for him today is officially the last day for what I spent in a week I honestly haven't been doing too much today besides working and then I ate my groceries at home the one thing I did purchase though today is my friend started this brand called Common Origin where they sell sunglasses and it's really cool because all the profits that they're making they are donating to a nonprofit in San Francisco that supports the visually impaired and the blind. So I really wanted to support their small business and them because I thought what they're really do what they were doing is so dope. I got the roses in turquoise and I think it came out to around $96. I'm excited to get those. That is the only thing I spent on today. I don't think or anticipate I'll be spending on anything else. We're just gonna head to the gym later. I still have groceries at home that I can cook. So I've been doing really good this week. For the moment we've all been waiting for the big reveal. For context, I did want to say that when I say a total of how much it is a month, that is my portion. And for expenses, I split everything with, with my roommate and with Julian. So keep that in mind as you guys are listening to these numbers. For my fixed expenses, starting off with rent, we live in a two bed, two bath, which is $12.43 a month, which comes out to $311 a week. Parking we pay additionally of us is 350 so I pay $116 a month so that's $30 a week just to park my car other apartment expenses like extra storage and then water and garbage that comes out to $70 a month on average so about $17.50 a week gas and electric that we pay separate from our utilities I do a discount on this but it averages out to about $40 a month or $10 a week but obviously depending on the season that fluctuates like right now in San Diego it is so hot so we've been running our AC so our monthly bill kind of looks more like $60 but I just I'll take the average for the past few months of 2024 Wi-Fi is $18 a month so $5 a week for me my phone bill is $40 a month so $10 and now the total to just exist here <laughs> comes out to $383.50, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. I feel like I sleep, cha-ching, I wake up, cha-ching, I breathe, cha-ching, I just hate being an adult. Did want to caveat that obviously like every week I'm not buying sunglasses or every week we're not buying Harlow food, but I think somehow this kind of all levels out in some way, shape, or form. So shopping for my glasses that I bought yesterday, my shampoo they came out to 180 and 50 cents grocery was 815 beauty services my nails and eyebrows which i typically get like once a month that came out to 81 dollars eating out 67 which is i feel like about right harlow stuff this week is 30 dollars my gym which is 818 a month comes out to 29.50 a week hours and wedding card which obviously i'm not buying stuff like this every single week that came out to 22 dollars the car wash i got 13 and then recreation pickleball was five dollars so the total comes out to dremel please five hundred and forty three dollars for what i spent this week by category total total the grand total of everything 126 dollars and fifty cents <gasps> i'm actually not mad at this number because everything that i bought was very intentional i feel like i didn't do any impulse shopping which is i used to do a lot of that growing up fully you guys find this video interesting if you guys are curious about living in san diego or just want to get an idea of how far your money can go don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye i feel like that is right, but it is fine you guys get what i was saying right 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 just hope you like this video be back for more see you later